So for everyone who follows me on TikTok, you guys are aware of this huge toy that I picked up. And if you haven't seen the saga that is this gigantic thing, I picked this up a few days ago. It's about, I keep saying 600 pieces, but I'm not sure how many pieces it actually is. And I attempted to read the manual to put it together. It's a no-go. So I called back up, my husband's here, and he's gonna help us put it together. And I thought we could like vlog style attempting to assemble this thing. thing that I noticed about this that like really shocked me is a lot of it are these like clip in structural devices. It's not really being like nailed or screwed together. Everything kind of just like fits together like puzzle. So this is basically a huge adult puzzle. I am headed to Walgreens right now because I need some Gooby Gone, Goo Gone, Gooby Gone, Goo Gone. I think it's Goo Gone. And some magic erasers. Um, the toy is from a community college that is having a lot of construction right now. So the toy is not super clean. So I'm going to get those supplies. My husband has also requested a Red Bull, so I need to get that for him too. And then we'll go back to the playroom and start cleaning it. To give you guys a quick update on the progress, we have now moved out of the party room and into the main playroom. As you can see, we are making definitely great progress. And I use the term we loosely. I uh, mostly have just been in the way dancing and um, entertaining while he does all the hard work. <laughs> while he builds this, I wanted to do a quick short story time about this toy. If you read the title of this vlog, you already know that um, this is the toy that tried to murder me. And now it is my mission in life to show it who's boss by making my husband put it together. <laughs> so I found this on Facebook Marketplace and they originally retail for like four to five thousand dollars, which is crazy because these are supposed to be built for um, early childhood centers, schools, things like that. So they're super durable, made out of wood. So when I saw it listed for two hundred dollars, I knew that I wanted it. So I emptied out my car, I lowered out the seats, I drove the 45 minutes to go pick it up, I hauled it all, put it all in my car myself, and, sorry if it's loud, he's building it right now, and I started driving home. When I was almost home, somebody cut me off and I slammed on my brakes a little harder than I anticipated, and some of these pieces from the back, actually, it was a long flat piece, came flying from the back, through the front, hit me right in the face, and then it hit my windshield. I will show you a picture of my windshield right here. And then, quick trigger warning, there is a teeny tiny little bit of blood. Here's what my face looked like right after it happened. You can see my jaw was really red. It did actually scratch me, and the windshield didn't shatter, but it definitely cracked. So this toy that I thought I got a huge steal of only $200 ended up after fixing the windshield costing 700, but I'm still really excited about it. I'm okay. Uh, my jaw just hurt for a couple days, but my husband cleaned me up. He fixed the window and now he's putting it all together. So it could have been a lot worse. I'm very lucky, knock on wood, that it would did not turn out worse than it could have been. And I'm now really excited for the kids to see this toy. It is coming together so well. So I will show you the progress. It's almost like a puzzle. Once you get the like corner pieces, it seems like he's going a lot faster now. But you can see this is only one level here. There's another staircase and this is gonna be the platform for the second level. So the fan is probably gonna have to go. Since everything fit in with like grooves and locks, if you missed a step, you would have to disassemble to go backwards. So we had a couple of times where we thought we had a piece right, and then we had to end up taking it apart and starting back over. 
but we finally figured it out and luckily we work really well together. We are at our first, uh, well not first, there's been a bunch of these, but we are having a conundrum. This is about six inches too short and we cannot figure it out. Oh, did you figure it out? Yeah. Hold on, we gotta take a bunch of stuff out now. When we bought this, we were well aware that there were some additional pieces that the, <laughs> that the Early Childhood Center gave us. And I am, basically what I'm trying to say is, this is an extra piece. This is also the piece that tried to kill me. So the extra piece that flew into my window wasn't even part of this project. I was telling you, I don't belong here. <laughs> After 45 minutes of driving, an hour of loading it into the car, one windshield, one sore jaw, an entire day of assembling it, the light's really bad, guys. This thing is finally finished, and I am so excited to show it to you guys. It is huge. It's about eight feet tall. And there's a lot of really fun tunnels in here. So the kiddos are gonna be able to climb through here. And on this side, we've got the kitchen, the star diner and the grocery store. The railings are really tall. They're about three feet. And from up here, you can see everything. I could not have done this without the help of my husband. I'm pretty sure I would have failed instantly, but it is now all together and I'm so excited to see what the kids think of it. We are open tomorrow and we have a couple of kiddos coming in first thing in the morning. So I am just gonna have to wait and see the reaction. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for following me along on this journey. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I think I need to do more than wash my hands. I need a full blown shower.